I guess it really is true what they say. All good things, or all track things, come to those who wait. Stay with your DCBFX. Yes, my visor is complete. Although right now it stinks a little bit because I just got it clear coated a couple hours ago, so it's still curing. But I think all in all, this turned out really well. And no, there's not anything holding this on. This is just wedged onto my head. I have no tape in here. I have no string along the back. I have nothing going on. But hey, it works. And actually, interestingly enough, I have two lights here, well, you know, you've seen my lights up. I have lights to fill in the background and I have lights here to sort of fill me out. Um, they're making a really funky effect in the brass. It's uh, it's cool. I can see how LeVar could have problems, you know, on the set because when you get uh, bright lights going on there, it just could be, that could be interesting. But as I said in the last video, uh, when I was showing off, well, the one before, um, you can see through this thing. Like you can see, like I can see the camera right there and everything, I got my lights here, lights here, everything here. I can see, uh, there's something in my vision, but yeah, definitely I can see. It's, uh, it's not so bad. So, now that this is done and I'm very happy with it, this is a great file. Um, so I guess a few pointers for somebody who wants to do this. Um, when you're doing it, and the file is readily available on Thingiverse, there's probably four or five different ones on there. The one I printed, basically it's two pieces, this piece and this piece, and then it's set to put in one eighth inch brass tubes. Um, so that's what you need. Uh, I did size it up. So the tip I'm gonna make for you, which I said this earlier, if you're gonna do this file and wanna check it out, just do the first couple layers on your printer and then stop, take it off and fit it to your head. If it doesn't fit comfortably, make it bigger and start over. Like this here for me, granted I've said before, I've got a big noggin, uh, this for me, is seven or 107 percent so it's seven percent bigger than it than it should be 107 percent printing so to do that in following the directions in the file i had to make the uh, rods taller he said seven core seven seven eighths of an inch there we go um i had to make this uh 0.92 uh, of an inch and even then when i was talking with my friends at deck seven and that's a video that's coming soon deck seven but i was talking to my friends at it they're going like I know I, I just I couldn't do that like 50 rods is just a pain in the ass well all it is is for me I cut them to an inch ish uh, basically just measured it out got a dremel cut it off so I know I was going to 0.92 and then got out the belt sander and just calipers sand calipers sand that's it next and then for lining them up as I said just easily done just do it a few at a time few at a time few at a time uh, there were a lot of comments saying that uh, that was the worst part of doing it was to getting it all in well if you do it in stages not so bad not so bad at all so that's my video for the day it is just um, a sort of culmination of a couple weeks worth of talking about it and doing um, it has not improved up here in Canada it's still stupid cold um, I had this painted and I didn't like the way it looked I had it painted a day ago after I was able to find the paint I was using testers. Testers doesn't exist anymore. Uh, uh, Rust-Oleum sort of got rid of them. So I found one can still available locally. I got it, whatever. A little bit different than I have, but still looks great, uh, obviously, as you can see. And I got it done, uh, but because it's so damn cold, like I, I painted it and didn't like the way it was last night, so I had to then you know, sand it off a little bit. And then I painted a bit this morning, but I went off to work, and I painted it and then brought it inside out of the way so no one would see it because you know people in the house because we're still sort of in lockdown out of the side out of mind and came back another coat and i got the clear coat and then the clear coat and then i just peeled off the tape like literally five minutes ago and it's just it's so satisfying to watch it come off and see the brass and everything out there so um that's it for today uh thank you to all the new subscribers again you know there's me broken record again uh i'm slowly getting there i'm just adding more and adding more and adding more and i'm just having so much fun with that it just and the comments are flying so i just love it so hey you guys are the best so that's it i will talk to you all later